Today's episode is brought to you by Skillshare. We'll talk about them later in the episode. Love this girl, but uh, we got water in the oil somehow. I noticed it because the exhaust, especially on startup, started getting quite smoky. And check the oil, and of course it's milky. It's not just oil, water having got in once, but it's consistently getting in. So, because um, it's actually forcing the oil through the PCB into the intake manifold. So, there's a bad seal in here somewhere. We gotta find it. Here, on the box. Good morning, we're back in the shop. I'm gonna do a little bit of welding and touching up on that wood stove I built last episode. There's a couple problems with the wood stove. One, um, the baffle was too strong. Two, um, the window wash did not work. Three, there's still a couple of welds to finish up. Okay, so uh, the baffle's got a big hole in it now. Um, we've welded up some of the insecurities. I still have a little bit more welding to do there. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about one of my major mistakes, which was this uh, window washing. So um, you can't really see it super well, but the window washing starts, this is the top of the stove, by the way, it's upside down. Um, there's an air intake over here, right? And then that feeds the secondary, which is fine, but the secondary doesn't work because of the window washing. And what's happening is that because of the laws of convection, hot air is entering the vents instead of exiting at the bottom and then washing its way up and then through. Um, so the window washing is actually, not only is it not working, but it's stopping the secondary burn from working properly. So what I've got to do is cut it off of this air intake seal the hole down there and then flip it and weld it to the bottom of the stove and cut some intakes um, on the bottom. So that way the convection current can actually suck cold air in from the bottom of the stove. Okay, well today I've got an odd job and today I am working not on my boat but on this slab of dock doing a demolition and cleanup. This uh, marina gets four stars out of five. They want that fifth star. They're getting rid of all of this foam to do that. I decided to take some of the wood for firewood, you know? <laughs> Get a laugh out of these guys. <laughs> All right, it's been a few days. My parts came in. There was only one bad gasket in the set, but uh, you could buy an entire gasket set all at once. And I figured, hey, I might as well get it now. And uh, you know, maybe I'll need it in the future. So that being said, let's just get this gasket in and see if that fixes the problem. No sh Second oil change and the color looks a lot better. Third oil change. Ah, that is clean. Look at that. Perfect. How the fuck you sound? Perfect. You win. 
Perfect. I've got the wood stove back in here. Um, the modifications, now the stove pipe works fine, uh, but the intake is too small. Uh, so now that the stove is hot and it's crimped down a little bit, it's running just fine. But to start it up, it chokes out the flames quite often. So as I mentioned earlier, today's episode is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative process. With thousands of inspiring classes in topics from illustration, design, photography, programming, all stuff to help you take the next step in your creative journey. As you guys may have noticed from my YouTube channel, I'm a huge fan of continuously learning new skills and adapting them to my lifestyle. There's a whole set of digital skills that are really necessary in the world we live in today, especially if you're gonna do something creative like make a YouTube channel. Skillshare has loads of courses like that. Right now I'm taking Crush YouTube Branding, make free professional YouTube thumbnails um, because thumbnails are a huge part of running a YouTube channel. And if you can't get people to click on the videos, then you're not gonna get views. So, so if you click through to watch this video, it might be because the new thumbnail I made, which was something I learned to do taking this course. The course is put on by Storm Pierce, who's a YouTuber and a freelance photographer, so he's got some good insights. And it's also separated out into chapters. I mean, they have loads of different places I can go from Canva, Corello, Snap, uh, loads of other websites I can use, as well as showing me how to use stuff uh, like my own programs like Photoshop here. And although I have a background as a photographer, there's still loads of stuff to learn. He's so many chapters and he gets down into the nitty gritty and it's in those details that I really learn new things. So if you're looking to take the next step in your creative journey, check out the link in the description. It's less than $10 a month if you take an annual subscription. And with that, you can watch as many videos you want, spend all day on this website. And if you're really looking for a good deal, uh, the first thousand people who check out the link in the description get a free trial. So stay tuned. We'll have a few more sponsored videos by Skillshare and hopefully you'll be able to see the improvements on my YouTube channel thanks to what I've learned on the website. Good morning. We've got a bench full of junk here, and this is all junk that I got at a hell of a deal, but until I put it together, it's still junk, so let's put it together. and I am just so happy that I got this thing running finally. Well, now that it's running, I should tell you what I've done. Um, I found a set of Sherline tools through the grapevine. I have a, a friend of a friend of a friend who's an old miller, an old metal worker, and he had this equipment lying around and he wanted to get rid of it. And so I got a fantastic deal on a whole set of equipment uh, so that I can machine up any of my own steel uh, pieces and it's small enough to fit on my boat. So I'm very excited. So the Sherline equipment is very high quality. I'm very happy with it. Although I will say my review so far, uh, putting it together, it is not uh, user friendly. Uh, that just means that I need to learn a lot more uh, about metalworking, about milling, about using a lathe, about all of it. But I'm very excited to do that and I had an opportunity to jump on this, so I did it. All right, so this is a very jumbled episode. I had memory card failures. This took several weeks to put together because it's just a bunch of odd jobs. I'm learning a lot and I'm still working and I'm sorry I haven't put out an episode. Um, I've got a lot in the pipe right now uh, and I'm just trying to finish all the projects and wait for materials to show up and stuff like that. So thanks for sticking with me. Please go check out Skillshare. Thanks for Skillshare sponsoring this video. You guys are awesome. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.